Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski. I am the owner of Tutor for Finance. I'm also a local finance professor and today we are going to be talking about the constant growth formula as it pertains to constant stocks. For the constant growth formula, there are four different variables. You're going to have your current dividends, you're going to have your annual dividends, you're going to have your required return, and you can also have your stock price. Those are only four variables that we're going to be working with for this formula. However, when they give you a problem, they have to give us three of these four for, um, variables. Once we have three of the four, then we can solve for the last one. The problem we're going to be working through today is going to be, is what is the value of a common stock if the firm's earnings and dividends are growing annually at the rate of 12%, annual growth is 12%, the current dividend is $1.50, the current dividend is $1.50, and current dividend is also going to be D0. Annual growth is going to be our G. And the last variable is the investor's required rate of return is 18% on the investment. Required return is going to be R. We have the four variables. For this formula right here, we are solving for price. So they have to give us the dividend, the growth, and the rate of return. With those three variables, we solve for the price. For this one right here, they have to give us, the again, the dividend, the growth, and the price. And we solve for required return. So for this first problem that we're going to do, we are going to be solving for the price. For this right here, dividend zero, we always start with our structure. With that structure, all we have to do now is just plug in some numbers. Dividend zero, current dividend is $1.50. We'll put 1.5 there. The next one is going to be 1 plus G, annual growth, 12%, decimal form is 0.12. So we'll add 1 to 0.12, gives us 1.12, and then we look for the required return. It's 18%, 0.18, and the final one is again our growth, 0.12. And again, we are solving for the current price. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply, well, we are going to set up our structure. For this right here, we're going to multiply the top 1.5 times 1.12. That is going to give us 1.68. For our dividend, I'm sorry, for the bottom, the rate minus the growth, 0.18 minus the 0.12 gives us 0.06. Final step is we divide. Keep our price 1.68 divided by 0 0.06 is going to give us 28. So this is our formula for this one right here, and this is a price of $28. Now some problems are going to give you what's called D1, and D1 we don't know. That is a dividend in a year. A dividend in a year is quite simply just the, the numerator. D0 times 1 plus the growth. That will give us our D1. So in this formula, they're giving us what the current price of the dividend is. If it's the current price, we use this one. If they say dividend in a year, we're going to use our D1. And simply to do that one, dividend in a year is going to be the one point. 1.16. So it's a little bit quicker for this one. 1.68 divided by the rate minus the growth and it's still going to give us 28. We just save a step if they tell us dividend in a year is going to be this. And in our problem that's not the case. We're using this one. Next what we're going to be looking at 
is going to be required rate of return. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this problem around. We're going to keep most of this information. However, for this one, what is the stock's rate of return if the market price of the stock is $40? So we solved this equation and we came up with $28. However, now what we're going to do is we're going to be solving for rate. So we're going to take this required rate of return, we're going to throw it out the window, and we're going to substitute a new price in there. Problem two, stock price is $40. We're going to take the same method, we're going to apply the same method for this, and it's going to be, put your R there, set up your structure, our D0, is going to be dollar fifty. Drop our one, and our growth is not changing. Point one two, and then we're also going to put the growth over there. Price, they gave us a price of forty dollars. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to start using our orders of operations. Set up our structure. 1.5, we're going to add 1 to the 1.2. 1.5 times 1.12, $40 still, drop the 0.12. Our next step, again, always start with your structure. And the 1.12 1.12 times the point, um, 1.5 times the 1.12 is going to give us again our 1.68. We're going to divide that by our 40, and we're still keeping our 0.12 outside. 1.68 divided by 40 is going to give us a point zero four two. We're going to add 1.12, we're going to drop that down, and our final rate is going to be 1.162, or as a percent, 16.2%. All right, hopefully this explanation is going to help with you with your selling your financial problems for the constant growth formula, and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks.